everybody. Today we're going to share with you why we bought Justin Rhodes Milk Cow. So, why would we not buy Justin Rhodes Milk Cow? I mean, is that obvious? Well, not for many of you guys, but before we go into all that, let's discuss how we even came to even wanting to buy a milk cow. And I'm the more adventurous one. She's not, she's not adventurous at all. And so why don't you share with everybody kind of what led to you saying, okay, let's do this. Well, when he first mentioned about getting a cow, a milk cow, I, my first thought was absolutely not. That's a horrible idea. I am not getting up in the morning and milking a cow out in the cold or rain or whatever. Um, so it took me a little while to get there. Um, I had to do a lot of processing, a lot of praying, and then I finally just decided it felt like the best thing. It felt like the next right step to take. And I don't know, I finally <clears throat> just like, okay, let's do it. It felt like we were all in with this homestead thing. Yeah, so a little, little backstory, a little secret about us. We sit down every night and we watch our shows, which normally uh, consisted consist of Justin Rhodes and so we were watching a video and we saw where he said that he was going to put Phyllis up for sale on the Abundance Plus app we were members and so I jumped on there looked she was not on there yet but the very next day she was I think that's how it worked yeah, out anyway I something like so. that but anyway so we tried to uh, purchase her that night and it, well first of all I said hey Caitlin look who's available on Abundance Plus let's <laughs> let's do this and she goes Eh, I don't know. Well, then I put the phone down and a little bit later she goes, okay, let's do it. So we tried to purchase her. For some reason, there was some kind of issue yeah, with technical the transaction. Yeah, glitch, I guess. Yeah. It wouldn't let us check out. And so we kind of <clears throat> thought, okay, we probably can't get her then. Yeah. Um, we emailed in for the help and just yeah. like kind of told them what was going on. And they actually said, there's just a glitch. Yeah. She's still available. So this was a Saturday night. And so um, the next day, Sunday, I was at work and i get a text message from caitlin with a screenshot of, of of the actual receipt saying hey we just bought a cow and so that was pretty much how quick and how uh, it, it happened very quickly yeah. so we were both excited but also i was like oh oh no we don't have anything ready for a cow and so we had to start scrambling and start looking for uh milking pails and yeah. all and all, all the, the supplies. Things. Oh, we didn't even have a trailer, so we had to find a trailer to go. Yeah, we pick her up. we just kind of dove all in, yeah. and we're gonna figure out the details later. Yeah. But we did have several weeks to prepare. We did, and so we bought, you know, all <clears> the <throat> milking supplies. We contacted my uncle. Yeah. He had a trailer. He let us borrow a livestock trailer, and we had to build a milking stanchion, which <clears> you know you worked on for a few weeks. Yeah, so I built a milking stanchion out of reclaimed lumber from an old deck that my dad tore down. He was replacing his deck around this pool. And so I ended up using that wood to build a mobile milking stanchion. And just kind of slowly, as the weeks progressed every day, I just kind of chipped away a little bit at a time, um, trying to get ready for the for uh, Phyllis to come to us and um, prepare for the, was it four and a half hours, four hours? Yeah, it was about four and a half, five hour uh, drive. Drive up to North Carolina to get her. Yeah, so we are in Alabama, so it was a little bit <clears> of a drive. It actually, the way it worked out, he gave us like two dates to choose from, and yeah. one date we absolutely couldn't do, and the other date worked okay, but you had to work the night before. So we ended up going on the last Monday of August, and you had to work on Sunday. Yeah, so we left, I think at, at nine o'clock, Yes. Um, Sunday night, night. Um, so big shout out to my dad because I was worried about being able to stay up the whole night or the whole ride up because it's just a long day for me on Sundays and so he uh, he was like well I'll go with you and so that he rode up with us to kind of help break up driving um, and also we were using a gooseneck trailer and so my truck doesn't have a gooseneck hookup so we had to use his truck so he let us use his truck and he drove us a good portion of the way so yeah Shout out to you, Palmer. Yeah, <laughs> big help. Yep. But yeah, we didn't get up there till <clears throat> late. I mean, we drove till about 30 minutes away from Justin and Rebecca's house. Yep. 
stayed at a hotel. We got a couple hours of sleep and then we had to be up early the next morning to be there for morning chores. Yeah. And there was a time change because we were on central time, they're on eastern time, so we lost an hour there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we kind of took a little nap and we all got dressed and hopped back in the car to go pick up Phyllis. Yeah, and so something, just being super transparent, something about um, going to someone's house that you kind of look up to, that you admire the exact conver the exact words out of my mouth was Caitlin. I hope that he uh, he is as nice as he seems on video. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure everybody has experienced meeting someone that's pretty well known, and probably in person they were totally different than what you thought they would be. Mm -hmm. I can say I can say from the beginning it was it was the best experience. I would say yeah. ten out of ten. For sure. Experience yeah. um, being able to go up there. And so we come pulling up, and what's super cool is we're coming down the little road that his house lives on, <clears throat> and I've watched the videos of them doing their um, parade on Christmas. Is it Christmas? I think so. They do and so they do a parade where they hook up the tractors and different things, and so they go down the road. And so I've seen that enough to know that when we're hitting the road, I'm like, oh, this, some of these houses look familiar that I've noticed in the background. So I knew we were getting close. Mm -hmm. And so we come around the bend, and sure enough, we were at their property. He was out already getting ready to um, to tend to the cows. Mm -hmm. He had his side by side uh, sitting there and his camera up and all this kind of stuff. And so yeah. we rode up, just awesome experience all the way around. And he was super patient with us. Yeah. Showed was. us, showed us around, um, kind of gave us some pointers and then took us down in there to introduce us to Phyllis, but also show us how to milk her, how to milk a cow, because neither one of us have ever milked a cow no. before. No, not at all. We had zero experience whatsoever. And kind of going there, <clears throat> I thought he would be like, hey, here's the cow, like here's a few pointers, load her up and we're gone. Like yeah. I thought we might be there an hour tops. And but it was it was an amazing experience because he really took the time to show us mm -hmm. what to do. First he milked one of his cows flossy and then um, he was like, Okay, you're gonna do it. And Matt was like, Caitlin, you're doing it. Because he knew if I didn't do it there, I would be really scared to do it at home. And so you put me on the spot and I was a little, a little mad at first, I'll be honest, but I'm glad you did it. You know me well enough to know that I needed that push. And so we just walked through the whole process and he didn't really like help us out yeah. too much unless we absolutely needed yeah, it. Yeah, which he said, he said, hey, if you ask questions, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna help yeah. you. But if not, then you can do it yourself. But a little side note is I knew that she needed to go milk the cow because she would take direction from Justin a whole lot quicker than she'd try to take direction from me. Uh, especially considering I didn't know what I was doing either. So I just, I, I, I knew her well enough to know that she, that she needed to be encouraged to do that. And she did great. Uh, it was, I think one of the funniest moments was when you're trying to like clean Phyllis. And yeah. he, he came up and was like, hey, you're way too soft. And he just gets down there and he, he starts cleaning her, getting ready to milk. It was, it was awesome. A lot of this stuff can be found on his channel he has a uh, youtube channel justin Rhodes. is it Justin Rhodes show i don't know you can just justin look up Rhodes. justin Rhodes, yeah. and we will put a link in the description below because of course his his uh his videography is amazing and so he tells he's a great storyteller so you can follow along um and follow that video but from yeah. my perspective it was just an amazing amazing time yeah. so we got to go in there uh learn how to put the cow into uh the mobile milking stanchion how to clean her how to milk her and I'm thinking this was it, but it wasn't. No. Yeah, and then they took us into their house and actually showed us, what do you do with the milk, <clears throat> you know? And so that was great because I didn't expect them to show us that either. Yeah. And so just the process of filtering it and like the great best way to store it. They gave us so many tips and pointers yeah. about, you know, how to make it last longer and all those things. They talked to us about cream separators and making butter and yeah. just really took their time with us and gave us a lot of and, information. And they really didn't have to. Yeah. yeah, they could have just no, they gave us uh, fill us, and we could have loaded up and, and headed home. But they they took the time, and mm -hmm. it was truly amazing. I told Caitlin, I said, ten out of ten experience yeah. uh, with them. And you know, we are we look at them as encouragement because one of the one of the reasons we kind of started leaning towards uh, farming and homesteading was watching them and seeing the family dynamic that they have. Mm, yeah. And we both felt like. Um, the Lord was kind of leading us in that direction, um, spending more time together, spending more quality time together, and having goals that we work on together at the same time. And so being able to watch his kids come out and um, 
and work on their farm and milk cows and yeah. move sheep and all the, all the things that they do was super encouraging for us and so it was and just seeing that like yeah. their real life is yeah. what they show oh, for sure. you know like of course they're not going to show every part but that's how they truly are in real life and their kids really are out there and they enjoy themselves yeah. and all that that was that was really encouraging i think what's funny is so um this little side note i chase rabbits every now and then <laughs> um so when we were first started watching them, I looked at Kate and I said, I'm going to meet him one day and we're going to be friends. <laughs> and so we had a text a little bit back and forth when we first got the cow, me asking questions and different things. And I told Kate and I said, yeah, I'm texting my best friend. So uh, it was it's super, it's super, <laughs> super funny, super cool. Um, it was an amazing experience. But so we milked the cow, learned how to uh, strain the milk, process the milk. Mm -hmm. And then it was time to load up Phyllis. Yes. And she did not want to get on that trailer. No. Which I don't blame her. No. I mean, you're, that's kind of like scary. She doesn't know what's going on, but <clears throat> she did eventually get on and we made that ride all the way back to Alabama. It was a little bit longer. Couldn't go quite as fast on the way home because she was back there. Yeah. She actually stood for most of the yeah, time, which was kind of weird. She yeah. laid down a few times. Yep. But um, we made it home and she made it safe. I was yep. most concerned about her getting injured yep. or something like that because you hear horror stories really yep. about moving livestock but she did great it was, it, it was great yeah. everything about the whole experience was amazing so yeah yeah god was really in the details yep. he really watched over it <clears throat> and so one of the reasons why this particular cow won't you share that why yeah. why the cow we talked about Justin Rose, why not? But like, what are some things that you're like, okay, this, this is a perfect opportunity yeah. for us. So for me, the reason why I wanted to jump on this particular cow <clears throat> is because she's an older cow. She's 11 years old. And most people would be like, oh, why do you want an older cow? Yeah. But she's well trained. She knows what's the, you know, she knows what's gonna happen. She doesn't kick very much, <laughs> yeah. very much, just a few times. Um, but she's also used to being around and or being around kids. Yes. And so that was important for us. Also, she only has two working teats, yeah. which might seem like a negative thing, but for us that means less milk. And so I'm not overwhelmed with an overabundance of milk every day. Yeah. So she gives us about a gallon and a half to two gallons a day, and that is more than enough for yes. us. I mean, yeah. we're learning how to use it for other purposes, you know, butter and ice cream, yogurt, all of those things, and hopefully cheese one day. And we're even giving it away to family members yeah. um, and then feeding our other animals. Our family it. members love it. Yes, they do. Well, we all do. Yeah. It's great. So that's kind of the reason why we chose her in particular, just other than just being Justin Rhodes' cow. Um, it's been it's been a really great experience. Yep. So, hey, thank you guys for coming along, sharing this story with us, because we get asked all the time. Yeah. A milk cow? Why a milk cow? <laughs> or what do you, I mean, y'all seriously get out there and milk the cow every morning? Well, yeah, yeah we do every morning. Um, and so we just wanted to kind of share, share with you guys. If you have any questions, please, Please ask questions um, in the comments. We'd love to respond to you. Caitlin is on top of the response responses in the comment section. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's, it's been fun to kind of watch. And um, Caitlin was telling me the other day about some of the interactions she's been having on there with you guys. So super fun, super thankful, grateful that we have the opportunity to do what we're doing. Thanks again.